Thomas Alive to Die presents Beefsteak Charlie's. Charles W. Chesser was a New York City restaurateur who was nicknamed Beefsteak Charlie by Howard Williams, a sports editor for the New York Morning Telegraph. Chesser opened his first restaurant around 1910, and moved to 50th Street between Broadway and 8th Avenue in 1914, which he operated until 1934. The restaurant was filled with horse racing photographs and frequented by sports enthusiasts, and the specialty of the house was a steak sandwich. A fire in March 1933 destroyed many of the racing pictures, though some still remain in the family of the subsequent owner, William Soshnick. After Chesser left, his namesake restaurant was owned and operated by William Soshnick, who migrated to the U.S. along with his family to avoid anti-Semitic oppression in Congress Poland. Soshnick was one of five immigrant brothers that eventually owned and operated small markets, butcher shops as well as the White Rose Bars in New York City. William Soshnick sold Beefsteak Charlie's upon his retirement in the late 1960s and moved to Tucson, Arizona. During Soshnick's ownership the restaurant became a popular hangout for jazz musicians in the 1950s and 1960s. The Beefsteak Charlie's restaurant chain was started in early 1976 by restaurateur Larry Elman, whose steak and brew chain had filed for Chapter 11 reorganization in fall 1975. Steak and Brew Incorporated was renamed Beefsteak Charlie's Incorporated. Many steak and brew locations were converted into Beefsteak Charlie's. As the chain first filed for a trademark on the Beefsteak Charlie's name in March 1976, and no prior trademark existed, it appears there was no direct connection to the namesake restaurant which inspired the chain. Beefsteak Charlie's marketing concept emphasized an all-you-can-eat salad bar, as well as unlimited beer, wine, or sangria. Early 1980s advertising featured an actor in early 20th century dress playing the role of Beefsteak Charlie, later joined by his nephew Beefsteak Chuck. Two of the chain's famous indulgent slogans were I'll feed you like there's no tomorrow and you're gonna get spoiled. By 1984, the chain had over 60 locations, primarily on the East Coast. Corporate owner Beefsteak Charlie's Incorporated changed its name in 1985 to Lifestyle Restaurants Incorporated in August 1987. The chain was acquired by Bombay Palace Restaurants via a merger with Lifestyle Restaurants for a reported $8.4 million in stock. At the time of the 1987 merger, the chain had 48 locations, but had closed 20 locations and lost $20 million since 1984. When Bombay filed for bankruptcy two years later, the chain had only 35 outlets. Several locations remained until the early 2000s. At least as of March 2003, one Beef Steak Charlie's was advertised as being open in Elmsford, New York, though it is unclear whether the restaurant had any connection to the prior chain, as the chain's trademarks had expired, and a new registration was filed in 2001. In 2009, a new Beef Steak Charlie's opened in the Westfield Sunrise Mall in Nassau County, New York, which closed shortly after its opening. The company faded from the New York area skyline forever. I'm Beefsteak Charlie, and you're gonna get spoiled with free shrimp. Thick, juicy steaks cooked up just like you like them. And sweet tender shrimp flowing endlessly. All the shrimp and the fixings you can eat with your dinner are free, absolutely free. On our salad bar, you're gonna get spoiled. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.